Hello everyone, I'm John Mark Legaspi and my topic is all about emerging technologies and IT infrastructure. Uh, here are the learning objectives for this topic. Number one, describe the components of IT infrastructure in detail. Determine the stages and the technical factors driving the development of IT infrastructure. Which computer hardware systems are now most in demand? Last, what are the most current trends in software platforms? Let's define what is IT infrastructure. It is a set of physical devices and software required to operate enterprise. Set of firm-wide services including computing platforms for providing computing services, telecommunication services, data management services, application ser software services, physical facilities management services, IT management standards, education, research and development services, service platform perspective more accurate view of value of investments the service platform perspective refers to analyzing the actual services enabled by new technology tools for example a new pc might save an employee one hour per day in wait time for information dramatically increasing its value to the firm. the services a firm is capable of providing to its customers, suppliers, and employees are a direct function of its IT infrastructure. Ide ideally, this infrastructure should support the firm's business and information system strategy. New information technologies have a powerful impact on business and IT strategies as well as the services that can be provided to customers. Evolution of IT infrastructure. <coughs> General purpose mainframe and mini computer era, 1959 to present. So, from 1958, IBM first mainframes introduced, eventually used to support thousands of online remote terminals. 1965, less expensive DEC mini computers introduced, allowing decentralized computing. Personal computer era, 1981 to present. 1981 introduction of IBM PC proliferation in 80s 90s resulted in growth of personal software client server era 1983 to present desktop clients network to servers with processing works split between clients and servers network may be two-tiered or multi-tiered and third various types of servers in network application and web Yung main mainframe dati ay malaki pero maliit lang yung computing capacity niya. Pero yung modern mainframe ngayon are powerful servers used for large enterprise and corporations. The mainframe is not dead and still represents a large revenue stream for IBM. So, ito yung figure na to. Ito yung uh, eras in IT infrastructure evolution. So, nung 1959 to present, yung mainframe or mini computer. 1981 to present, personal computer. 1983 to present, client server. Yung yellow ring dun sa client server, it connects the machines in the client server graphic sa isang local area network. Personal computers were standalone systems prior to the development of local area networks. Evolution of IT infrastructure continuation Enterprise Internet Computing Era 1992 to present It moves toward integrating dis disparate networks applications using internet standards and enterprise applications Cloud Computing 2000 to present refers to a model of computing where firms and individuals obtain computing power and software applications over the internet it is a fastest growing form of computing. Example of the use of cloud computing are Google Apps, Google Suits, of software applications that rivals Microsoft's Office application, 
at a fraction of the cost and salesforce.com CRM management software delivered over the internet so the enterprise internet graph represents several individual networks linked together into an enterprise-wide network the cloud computing graph represents several types of te technolo technology that are capable of connecting to the internet and accessing applications and services through a cloud so in a multi-tiered client or server network client requests for service are handled by different levels of servers the distribution of computing power across smaller, less expensive machines enabled by client or server computing is in a large part responsible for the drastic increase in computing power and applications throughout the firm. Technology Drivers of Infrastructure Evolution Moore's Law and Microprocessing Power Computing power doubles every 18 months. Nanotechnology may shrink size of transistors to, do, to width of se several atoms. Contrary factors, heat dissipation needs, power consumption concerns. Law of mass digi digital storage, the amount of data being stored each year doubles. Variants of Moore's law include the number of transistors on a chip doubles every 18 months, computing power doubles every 18 months, and the price of computing falls by half every 18 months. This figure shows that packing more transistors into a tiny microprocessor has exponentially increased processing power. So, this figure also shows that packing more transistors into less space has driven down transistor costs dramatically as well as the cost of the products in which they are used. So, examples of nanotubes. Nanotubes are tiny tubes about 10,000 times thinner than a human hair. They consist of rolled up sheets of a carbon hexagons discovered in 1991 by researchers at NEC. They have the potential uses as minuscule wires or an ultra small electronic devices and are very powerful conductors of electrical current. This figure shows the capacity of hard drives grows exponentially from 1980 to 2007. So from 1980 to 1990, hard disk drives capacities for PCs grew at the rate of 25% annual compound growth, but after 1990, growth accelerated to more than 65% each year. The world is producing an increasing amount of digital information requiring storage each year as well. Fortunately, the cost of storing that information is decreasing at an even quicker rate. The figure displays the number of kilobytes of data that can be stored with one dollar. The y-axis is greatly compressed to display the doubling effect. Since the first magnetic storage device was used in 1955, the cost of storing a kilobyte of data has fallen exponentially, doubling the amount of digita digital storage for each dollar expended every 15 months on average. Technology Drivers of Infrastructure Evolution Metcalfe's Law and Network Economics It states that value or power of a network grows exponentially as a function of the number of network members. As network members increase, more people want to use it. Declining communication costs and the internet. An estimated 1.5 billion people worldwide have internet access. As communication costs fall toward a very small number and approach zero, utilization of communication and computing facilities explodes. 
exponential declines in internet communication cost. One reason for the growth in the internet population is the rapid decline in internet connection and overall communication cost. The cost per kilobit of internet access has fallen exponentially since 1995. Digital subscriber line or DSL and cable modems now deliver a kilobit of communication for a retail price of less than 2 cents. Technology drivers of infrastructure evolution Standards and network effects So, technology standards, specifications that establish the compatibility of products and the ability to communicate in a network unleash powerful economies of scale and result in price declines as manufacturers focus on the products built to a single standard. IT infrastructure has seven main components computer hardware platforms, operating system platforms, enterprise software applications, data management and storage, networking, telecommunications platforms, internet platforms, and consulting system integration services. These are the seven major components that must be coordinated to provide the firm with a coherent IT infrastructure. Listed here are the major technologies and suppliers for each component. Computer hardware platforms, client machines, yun yung desktop PCs, mobile computing devices, PDAs, laptops, and servers, yun yung blade servers or ultra thin computers stored in racks, mainframes, IBM mainframe equivalent to thousand of blade servers, top chip producer AMD, Intel, and IBM, top firms IBM, HP, Dell, and Sun Microsystems. In 2008. 285 million pieces were shipped worldwide with a market value of 253 billion US dollars and in 2009 US firms will spend about 150 billion dollars on computer hardware. Operating system platforms. So operating systems client level is 95% run by Microsoft Windows XP 2000 CE etc. Server level 85% run by Unix or Linux. Enterprise software applications. Enterprise software applications are enterprise application providers such as SAP and Oracle, middleware providers, BEA. Microsoft dominance in operating systems and, and explain that it is the most important reason for their success to date. The market for enterprise software applications is approximately $250 billion. These applications are considered to be part of IT infrastructure. Traditionally, large firms were the most prominent users of enterprise software, but firms such as Microsoft are trying to move into the untapped market of small and medium-sized businesses that might benefit from less expensive versions of the same software. Data management and storage. Database, database software, IBM, Oracle Microsoft, Sybase, MySQL, Physical Data Storage, EMC Corp, Seagate, Maxtor, Western Digital. Storage area networks connect multiple storage devices on dedicated network. The amount of new information in the world is doubling every three years driving the need for more efficient data management and storage. Networking telecommunication platforms. Telecommunication services, uh, telecommunications, cable, telephone company, charges for voice lines and internet access. AT&T, Verizon, network operating systems, Windows Server, Novell, Linux, Unix. Network hardware providers, Cisco, Lucent, Nortel, and Juniper's network. Internet platforms. Hardware software management services to support company website, including web hosting services, intranets, extranets. Internet hardware server market, 
Dell, HP, Compaq, or IBM. Web development tools or suits, Microsoft, IBM, Sun, independent software developers such as Macromedia or Adobe, and Realmedia. Internet platforms are yet another area where Microsoft is featured prominently. Consulting and system integration services. Even large firms do not have resources for full range of support for new or complex infrastructure. Software integration, um, ensuring new infrastructure works with legacy systems. Legacy systems, older TPS created for mainframes that would be too costly to replace or redesign. So Accenture, IBM Global Services, EDS, Infosys, and Wipro. Implementing new infrastructure requires significant changes in business processes and procedures, training and education, and software integration. This is a task that firms struggle to achieve on their own, which drives the need for these services. While cost of computing is lower, infrastructure costs have expanded. More computing, more sophisticated computing, increased consumer expectations, need for security. The emerging mobile digital platform like cell phones, smartphones have assumed data transmission, web surfing, email, and instant messaging duties. Netbooks, small, low-cost, lightweight notebooks optimized for wireless communication and core computing tasks. So business computing is increasingly moving from PCs and desktops to mobile devices and managers are increasingly using this to coordinate work and communicate with employees. Grid computing connects geographically remote computers into a single network combine processing power and create virtual supercomputer to provide cost savings, speed, and agility. Cloud, cloud computing is a data permanently stored in remote servers, accessed and updated over the internet by users. Organizations using cloud computing need only pay for the computing power they actually use. So both grid computing and cloud computing allow organizations to optimize their use of resources in new ways. Grid computing allow corporations to take advantage of spare computing power in the form of network virtual supercomputers and cloud computing allows organizations to avoid the expenses of maintaining their own ha hardware and software, relying on the cloud instead. Automatic computing Industry-wide effort to develop systems that can configure, optimize themselves, heal themselves when broken and protect themselves from outside intruders. Similar to self-updating antivirus software, Apple and Microsoft both use auto automatic updates. Virtualization and multi-core processors. Virtualization presents computing resources so that they can be accessed in ways that are not restricted by configuration. It allows multiple operating systems to run on one machine increases server utilization rates from 10 to 15 to 70 percent of capacity. Multi-core processors, it reduced power requirements and enhanced performance. Autonomy computing and virtualization are both methods of allocating resources more efficiently at the technological level. Linux and open source software. Open source software is produced by community of programmers free and modifiable by users, while Linux is open source software operating system. Java, object-oriented programming language by Sun Microsystems, operating system, processor independent or Java virtual machine, leading programming environment for web like applets, e-commerce applications, Ajax or asynchronous JavaScript and XML allows client and server to exchange small pieces of data without requiring the page to be reloaded. Web Services Software components that exchange information using web standards and languages. XML, extensible markup language. More powerful and flexible than HTML. Tagging allows computers to process data automatically. 
SOAP or Simple Object Access Protocol, rules for structuring messages enabling applications to pass data and instruction. WSDL, Web Services Description Language, is a framework for describing web services and capabilities. UDDI or Universal Description Discovery and Integration, it's a directory for locating web services. Firms are collections of thousands of computer pr programs and systems built over many years. In general, these systems cannot talk with one another and sharing information among them is very expensive. One way to get to work together is to build software links among them. SOA or Service Oriented Architecture Set of self-contained services that communicate with each other to create a working software applications. It's a software developers reuse these uh, services in other combinations to assemble other applications as needed. For example, an invoice service to serve full firm for calculating and sending printed invoices. Mashup and widgets. Mashups are combinations of two or more online applications such as combining mapping software like Google Maps with local content. Widgets is small programs that can be added to web pages or placed on the desktop to add additional functionality. Software outsourcing, three sources, uh, external commercial vendor, online service providers, or offshore firms. Software packages, pre-written set of software available commercially. Software as a service, is a software delivered over the internet. Offshore outsourcing, usually governed by service level agreement. Service level agreements are formal contracts between customers and their service providers that define the specific responsibilities of the service provider and the service expected by the customer. These are the important to establish communication between the two firms and to manage the project efficiently. Changing sources of so software. The figure shows the jump in software as service or SAAS spending within the last several years and the pronounced rise in the last two or three years. Uh, meron ding positive and negative effect ang SAAS. Positive, it allows companies to focus on business issues rather than technology. For many companies, SAAS could cut cost. Negative naman, it increases the firm's dependency on external suppliers. So, what happens if your supply of SAAS services goes into bankruptcy? Bankruptcy. What is your backup plan? Dealing with platform and infrastructure change. As firms shrink or grow, it needs to be flexible and scalable. How does firm remain flexible and still make long-term investment? Scalability. Its ability to expand to serve larger number of users, firms using mobile computing and cloud computing require new policies and procedures for managing these new platforms. So, kailangan ng contractual agreements with firms running clouds and distributing software required. Management and Governance Who controls IT infrastructure? Centralized decentralized? How are costs allocated between divisions or departments? Making wise infrastructure investments. Amount to spend on IT is complex questions. Nandiyan yung rent or buy or outsourcing. Competitive forces model for IT infrastructure investments. Nandiyan yung market demand for firm services. Firm's business strategy. Firm's IT strategy, infrastructure and cost. Information technology assessment. Competitor firm services. Competitor firm IT infrastructure investments. are the six factors you can use to answer the questions how much should our firm spend on IT infrastructure yan yung nandiyan yung market demand for your firm's customer services supply services and enterprise services nandiyan din yung your firm's business strategy your firm IT strategy nandiyan yung IT competitor firm's IT services and competitor firms 
IT infrastructure investments. Total cost of ownership of technology assets. In a TCO model, it used to analyze direct and indirect cost of systems. Hardware software account for only about 20% of TCO. Other costs include installation, training, support, maintenance, infrastructure, downtime, space, and energy. TCO can be reduced through greater centralization and inst standardization of hardware and software resources. So TCO is a way of quantifying some of hidden costs of hardware. So that's all po for my presentation. I hope you learned something on my report and thank you and God bless.